okay welcome to this training i want to appreciate everyone who has been um, supporting this channel by subscribing i want to say a very big thank you and i want to appeal to those who are viewing this channel that are yet to subscribe to do so to support the channel by subscribing and please always try to leave a comment after each video this will help us to know the areas we need to improve upon having said that we will need to talk about some questions and respond to them from the channel some people have been asking questions on losing their password um the back page that of the myfi mtm myfi that contains the login details and many of them have lost the information so they want to know how they can log in again i have a question here from someone and uh, you can see he said hi sir i reset my myfi and lose the back barcode already now i can't get the default settings for my own myfi basically i reset it because i couldn't remember my password after a long time leaving it home please i need help on that okay in this case he removed the details the page that contains the details of the login password so when you have uh, the myfi it comes at the back page here that's where you have the details, the login details, where you can log in first and then be able to use the browser to access the web page. When you log in, it shows something like this. Okay, you have it here. And then you can now use the browser with this to check, to access the MyFi. Okay, but in this case, our friend has, he can't have access to the default. So we'll try to help out. When you are dealing with MyFi, so when you lose the Wi-Fi key through probably peeling out the page, the page is peeled off. So how do you log in? If it's MyFi, my best advice is take it to nearest MTN office with your device for help they will assist you when it's mtm myfi but where i can help now if it's uh, if it's the mtm router this mtm router if you forget the wi-fi key or it's peeled off and probably you reset this you may not need to bother there's another way to go in into your configuration page and then still assess the admin page or configuration page to do certain things the way out is to use the lan cable to connect it using the lan cable which we are going to do now so i will assuming i've lost this i've reset the page reset the mtn router and i've also lost this login page the login detail page and i'm left with this mtn router I need to assess it but i don't have the login details i need to assess it either the login details is off but i still need to assess this mtn router login to the admin page there's another way we'll do it we'll use lan a cable and connect the mtn router with your laptop using the lan cable and then the problem will be solved So, in connecting the system to make sure that you're able to assess this when you have misplaced your login details, either this page is missing or after the setting, you cannot have the uh, WLAN key to connect this to this through a Wi Fi. So the only option now you have is to connect this router to the laptop using the LAN cable. This is a network cable called the LAN cable. You can just get it. It is very cheap. 
you can easily get it. Okay, just go to the market, you ask them for land cable, and they will give it to you. Then make sure the laptop you are going to use have what you call the port where you can connect this. So when you have these things, you are set to go. Then use one of the LAN, uh, the mount, connect it here to the laptop. Okay. Then the other mount of the LAN cable goes to the LAN port. You can use, there are four here for this router. This is the LAN port and this is for telephone. So you just connect it on any of these LAN ports. So when you connect two of them, already the router has a default IP address of 192.168.0.1. So you now go back to your laptop and assign an IP address that is similar to this. Preferably, I preferably I will ask you to assign 192.168.0.2 or the 3 or the 10 or the 15, whatever, but let it be the same uh, class with the one of the router. So let's go to the system now. Okay, we are back to the system. This is my desk, um, laptop, and I'm going to configure the IP address. Put the IP address there so that we can now go to the browser and change. So I put the IP address first of all. You go to settings to put the IP address. Click on settings. And then network and internet connection. And then long settings and then change adapter okay you double click on internet so it opens and um, go to internet protocol version 4 property use IP address remember our IP address 192.168.0 can you let's use dot 2 okay just click on this subnet mask it will populate itself and then that's all you click ok <coughs> close and you may try to ping just test if there's connection whenever you want to test if there's connection dot zero dot one and when you get a reply something like this it means there's connection so when there's connection you can now go ahead and open the browser and then type this so you can now log in with the default password admin just know that you reset the MTN router if you've forgotten your password reset it so that the default password become admin and then you can just type admin and go in so this is how to log in this is how to log in to an MTM router that you have forgotten your password so the first thing you do reset the MTM router when you reset the MTM router then the password will be admin but you may not be able to know the WLAN key the Wi-Fi key to connect to your laptop that's why you use the LAN cable and when you use the LAN cable and connect directly you can now um, assign IP address to the laptop and then connect to the configuration page to change the password you can go in on that Wi-Fi key okay and then you can change this password so that 
next time you now know the password i hope you do enjoy the training please do well to subscribe to my channel and then drop a comment at the comment section below thank you for watching bye